A second summer of COVID cancellations after months of progress in California's COVID fight. Tonight, some summer staples are still getting scratched. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live in Davis for us tonight with what's happening this summer and what's been called off. Laura. Well, during 4th of July in Davis, normally this parking lot would be packed full of cars. Once again, this summer, that's not going to be the case. Davis has canceled their 4th of July celebrations. But while some cities are pumping the brakes on summer events, others are proceeding with caution. Fun in the sun it means fireworks, fairs, and lots of food. Giant corn dogs, tacos, funnel cakes, pupusas. But last summer was different. County fair gates were closed and fireworks never left their casings. Definitely missed it a little bit. And for the second year in a row, Sacramento concerts in the park <laughs> is canceled and so are the Davis fireworks. Davis Mayor Gloria Partita writing in part out of an abundance of caution, the best public health decision we can make at this time is to not host a large event. But some cities promise summer 2021 will be different. Would this be the first official big television announcement that Auburn 4th of July is happening? I guess this is breaking news and we're going to make it official. Auburn is full steam ahead. Auburn 4th of July isn't the only event coming back. Yuba Sutter Fairgrounds will unlock their gates for guests this summer. And all of our entry points will have a, a touchless kiosk, a lot of sanitation, um, uh, restrictions in terms of attendance levels. Cities like Elk Grove and Sacramento have yet to make decisions about summer events, citing a lack of guidance from the state. So we asked the California Department of Public Health about the June 15th reopening date and what that means for events like this. Happy Fourth of July, everybody! They tell CBS 13 if there's enough vaccines available and hospitalization rates are low, the economy will fully reopen. But large-scale, higher risk events will likely require testing or proof of vaccination. City of Davis Vice Mayor says the decision to cancel 4th of July ultimately came down to safety and money. If they had waited to the last second to cancel the event, it would have cost the city financially. 